Maurice, you ready for the prologue? Sure. Yeah, Carmela. Yep. Uh, let me. Uh, here we go. Okay, I got it. Uh, preambles of the Cleveland Board of Building Standards and Building Appeals meeting as follows. In compliance with notification requirements of Ohio's open meeting law under COVID-19 emergency declaration, notice of this meeting has been publicly posted. All boards and commissions under the purview of the city planning department conducts its meetings according to Robert's rules of order. Actions during the meeting will be taken by voice vote. Abstentions from any vote due to a conflict of interest should be stated for the record prior to the taking of any vote. In order to ensure that everyone participating in the meeting have the opportunity to be heard, we ask that you use the raise hand feature before asking a question or making a comment. The raise hand feature can be found in the participants panel on the desktop and mobile versions and activated by clicking the hand icon. Please wait for the chair or facilitator to recognize you and be sure to select unmute and announce yourself before you speak. When finished speaking, please lower your hand by clicking on the raised hand icon again and mute your microphone. We will also be utilizing the chat feature to communicate with participants. The chat feature can be activated by clicking the chat button located on the bottom of the WebEx screen with the following condition. Ms. Aston. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I'm glad to see you. <laughs> uh, first, um, I would like to ask to verify that it's uh, independently that it's being live streamed, this public hearing. Yes, it's being live streamed. Thank you, Maurice. And then pursuant to uh, the rules um, posted on the High Supreme Court's website regarding um, public hearings, the city will continue to object to the chat, the use of the chat function as we have for each one. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Board of Building Standards and Building Appeals is now in session. Call the roll, please. Ms. Davis. Mr. Maskey. Here. Mr. Bratley. Oh, boy. <laughs> he might be muted. Mr. Bradley, can you hear us? Yeah, he's muted. You're muted, Mr. Bradley. Howard, unmute. I'll, I'll phone him. Mr. Gallagher. Here. Mr. Dank. Here. We have technical issues with hey, Mr. Mr. Bradley, but he's here. So we do yeah. have. Um, well, unmute. Press your unmute. Get get your microphone working. We uh, can't we can't hear you. It was a, it was for a second. He said it was for a second. We heard you earlier. And it says muted. He can hear us, huh? Yeah, we can hear you. Oh, we heard you now, and then you you muted yourself again. You hear me now? There you go. I'll, yes, I'll, we can I'll hear you. Phone on on my desk. If you okay. Need it. Okay. We have a quorum. We have First a quorum. Docket. I'm going to leave the phone on, Howard. Okay. Okay. First docket. A3120, 2843 Southmoreland Boulevard. Application to fees are in order. Notice of violation is interior and exterior maintenance issued on January 15, 2020. Appellant requests time to abate the violations. Present for the hearing, Tom Vanover, Building and Housing. Patricia Ashton, Law. The appellant was notified and failed to return or acknowledge receipt of an invitation. Mr. Dink, you can swear in. Yes. Follow me swear or affirm the comments you're about to make are the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth. So help you God. Thank you. It, Mr. Chairman, Patty Aston has her hand raised. Ms. Aston. 
Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, Mr. Chairman to Ms. Davis, was notice of today's public hearing returned to the board's file for any reason whatsoever? No. And Ms. Davis, did you receive any phone calls, voice messages, or emails from uh, this appellant or anyone on behalf of this appellant regarding this matter? No. Thank you. Um, Mr. Chairman, so based upon Ms. Davis's statements and testimony to this board, you do have uh, service um, on the uh, appellant regarding this public hearing and you may proceed. Thank you under due process. Okay, we will we will hear the docket uh, with with the input that the city has at this moment. Mr. Vanover. So, so Mr. Chairman, this is a substantial structure. It's a, it's a rental structure. Um, I don't know how much more time they were asking for. I mean, they are, we are now 10 months after uh, roughly since it was the violation of the um, And if you can scroll through, you can see there's, there's quite a bit of deferred maintenance on, on this property, both inside and out. Okay. So we would ask that, uh, you know, we weren't able to get back in uh, prior to the hearing, but you can see the things that are missing. There's some substantial there's missing parts from the water tank. And, uh, we would ask that, uh, without any further information, we would ask that you uh, remand it back to the Department of Building and Housing. Okay. Any any comments from board members on that? A motion is ordered to deny the request for additional time and remand the property to the Division of Building and Housing. For supervision required further action, noting that there was no response from the appellant and photographic oh. evidence indicates indicates issues, ongoing issues. Motion so in order. But so move. Second. Motion by Mr. Maskey, second by Mr. Gallagher. Bradley. Bradley, correct. Thank you. Call the roll, please. Mr. Maskey. Yes. Mr. Bratley? Yes. Mr. Dank? Yes. Mr. Gallagher? You're muted. Oh, there you go. Yes. Next docket. Thank you. Next docket A3220-2851 Hampton Road. Application and fees are in order. Notice of violation is interior and next year maintenance. Issued on January 8, 2020. Appeal statement received February 5, 2020, requesting for time to abate the violation. Present for the hearing, Tom Vanover, Building and Housing, Patricia Ashton Law. The appellant was properly notified and has not responded to the invite notice. Okay, we will proceed with the docket and, and invite input from Mr. Vanover. Please. Sound well. We, have Ms. we also have Ms. Aston. The comments you're about to make are the truth, whole truth, nothing but the truth, so help you God. I do. Preliminarily, Mr. Chairman, uh, to Ms. Davis, was the notice of today's public hearing via WebEx returned to the board's file for any reason whatsoever? No. Yeah. And Ms. Davis, did you receive any voice message, phone call, or email from anyone regarding this appellant? No. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, Mr. Chairman, you do have a uh, due process notice to proceed. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Vanover, any comments? Um, so again, Mr. Chairman, I mean, there's a, I think it's a request for more time. It looks like they've done some work um, on this. And uh, I would... Uh, I don't know how much more time they need, so I would ask that you deny it and remand it back to them. Thank you. Any comments from board members? A motion, yes. a motion is in order to deny the request for additional time and to remand the property to the Division of Building and Housing for supervision and required further action, noting that there is no response from the appellant. Motion so in order. So move. Motion by Second. Mr. Bradley. Second. Second, Mr. Gallagher. Call the roll, please. Mr. Maskey? Yes. Mr. Bratley? Yes. Mr. Gank? Yes. Mr. Gallagher? Yes. Uh, next docket, 
A3420, 5417 Fleet Avenue. The appellant has withdrawn. Are we, uh, Ms. Davis, do you have a comment on that? Um, this property was sold back in August. I received email information from the appellant the other day saying that they would like to withdraw their appeal since they are no longer the owners. Thank you. That require no action from the board. Uh, next stock is A4020-12103 Kinsman Road. Application and fees are in order. Notice of violation is a condemnation of the main structure. Issue September 23rd, 2019. Appeal statement received February 19th, 2020, requesting four time to abate the violations. Present for the hearing, Tom Vanover, Building and Housing. Patricia Ashton Law, owner, Dominique Holmes, and her architect, Daryl Mapson. Solemnly swear or affirm the comments you're about to make are the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth, so help you God. May we, yes. hear from the, may we hear from the appellant? Is, is the appellant on? Yeah, Mr. Mapson, you're muted. Right there you go. Yeah. Yeah. I do. <laughs> oh, Mr. Mapson, uh, t would you just discuss your plans for the property with us? Uh, yes, uh, we have uh, submitted drawings to the Building and Housing Department. And uh, we're also working through the storefront renovation program, which we've also submitted drawings to. Uh, we're working with Tim Barrett and received uh, approval for $100,000 worth of improvement on the storefronts. Uh, the status of the drawings at the building and housing department, uh, per Mark of Fields, we have uh, received approval from the city planning commission and the drawings are currently on Chuck Akoya's desk in the building and housing department waiting to uh, get submitted to a plan reviewer in building and housing. Uh, we are uh, doing a total gut on the building. There will be uh, new plumbing, HVAC, and electrical systems. Uh, we've taken down all of the plaster. There will be new drywall and insulation on all the walls. Uh, there is roof work going on as we speak right now. Also, uh, demolition has been completed. And right now we're just waiting for approval from building and housing uh, on, on the plans. So the, uh, my client, uh, Dominique Holmes, can go ahead and uh, pull her building permits. So that is the status of the project right now. There are uh, four apartments up above. Uh, there are four lease spaces on the ground level. And there's also an adjacent uh, restaurant building, which will also be renovated. And uh, as uh, right now, you're just getting a view of uh, the construction documents. And we, uh, and also where well, there'll be a new parking lot with landscaping and fencing. And currently that's the status of uh, the uh, the project, uh, currently waiting for building and housing plan review approval. Uh, is there anything required of the Board of Building Standards in this process? It sounds like you're in good order. Mr. Maskey, you have any comments? Uh, no, um, I think once they get their permits, the time frame of the permits takes over. So, Mr. Chairman to Mr. Mapson, uh, who's the contractor going to be? Uh, right, right now it's uh, uh, I, I'd like to defer to uh, uh, Ms. Holmes on that. Is she on okay. with us? Hi, this is Dominique. Right now, the contract is with Daryl Hall, and also I have Chester. I don't recall Chester's last name at the moment. Byler. He's Byler. With, uh, Daryl Hall. Okay. Chester Byler. And uh, and Mr. Mr. Chairman to Ms. Holmes, um, is this project funded? I know you've got the, the hundred thousand. You got the hundred thousand dollars in 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 money through storefront, but uh, is the balance of it funded? Yes, it's funny to me personally. Okay. The um, then, then, Mr. Chairman, you would need to uh, um, you would need to grant an extension of time 
because they're currently beyond the compliance time of their violation notice. Um, but, you know, it appears that they're moving forward and, and uh, you know, with the process. So we wouldn't object to more time to get the permits in place. And then, as Mr. Maskey said, the Ohio Building Code will take over from there. Uh, is January 1st reasonable for the permits or? or... I think so. Okay. Uh, any comments from the board? A motion is ordered to grant the appellant until January 1st. 2021 to obtain the required permits. The property is remaining. Motion so in order. So so move. Motion by Mr. Maskey. Bradley. Bradley. Second. Second. Second by Mr. Denk. Call the roll, please. Mr. Maskey. Yes. Mr. Bradley. Yes. Mr. Dang? Yes. Mr. Gallagher? Yes. Thank you. Next docket, A3620, 6615 Hoppensack Avenue. Application and fees are in order. This is um, another docket as I received notification from the appellant that they are in compliance with the violation notice and would like to withdraw their appeal. Any comments from anyone? Mr. Vanover, you have any comments on this? He's on the phone. Oh, um, an action by the board. Do we need to grant any additional time for anything on this? or take no action. We have Ms. Aston with her hand raised. Ms. Aston, thank, thank you. you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. When they withdraw their appeal, it's as if they dismiss it and you don't, it's no longer pending before the board. So you can just uh, dismiss it for their withdrawal. We will dismiss it. Next docket, A3720, 18898 Ironwood Avenue. Is, is Master Vanover still on the phone? No, he's not. Okay. Application and fees are in order. Notice of violation is interior and exterior maintenance. Issue January 23rd, 2020. Appeal statement received February 13th, 2020, requesting for six months to abate the violation. Present for the hearing, Tom Vanover, Billing and Housing. Patricia Ashton, Law. And the appellant has been properly notified, but has not responded to the meeting link request. Solemnly swear or affirm the comments you're about to make are the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth. So I hope you can. God. We, we, Mr. Vanover, we understand that this is in compliance. Is that the status? I'm, uh, yeah, I believe, I believe so, Mr. Chairman. Let me, uh, let me verify. The new glasses look good. Yes, the compliance final 11 9 2020. Okay, any action required by the board? Um, I would be, they were outside of their compliance time, so we would not object granting more time until okay. today, next week, or whatever. A motion is in order to grant the public until December 25th. I'm sorry, November 28th to complete abate, uh, 2020 to complete abatement of the violations. Motion so in order? So moved. Second. Motion, Motion by Mr. Maskey, second by Mr. Bradley. Call the roll, please. Mr. Maskey. Yes. Mr. Bradley. Yes. Mr. Dank. Yes. Mr. Gallagher. Yes. Next docket, 
A3820, 4918 McBride Avenue. Application and fees are in order. Notice of violation is condemnation of the main structure. Issued January 16, 2020. Appeal statement received February 14, 2020, requesting for 90 days to abate the violations. Present for the hearing, Tom Vanover, Building and Housing, Patricia Ashton Law, and Trish Butler is a representative. Solemnly swear or affirm the comments you're about to make of the whole truth, nothing but the truth, so help you God. We do. May we hear from Ms. Butler? Yes, I, I am here. I'm representing um, the owners of um, McBride, and uh, we have requested more time to uh, on rehabbing the property. We've been uh, we did get it boarded up. We have made sure that um, the yard's been maintained. And uh, at this point, we had new ownership of the management company, and they became aware of this uh, with the hearing update. And uh, hence, we need they would request more time to get the bids in order. Uh, go, going into winter, uh, originally we had asked for 90 days. Um, I'm thinking we might need a little more time. Tom um, would have a better idea of the permitting process, of how long it's taking right now. Uh, but we, we have some work to do there. Yes, the photographs indicate that. Um, mm -hmm. How much time? Do you, do you have a, a, an idea of how much time it'll take you to? Now, are you requiring permits for this work? Oh, I'm sure. Yeah. I mean, it needs a roof. Uh, there's going to be uh, inside work done as well. So there's going to need to be some permitting done. Showing that as a condemnation, Joe. Mm -hmm. yeah. Ah, gotcha. Okay. Mr. Van do you have any comments on this property? So, yeah, Mr. Chairman, I mean, yeah, this is a condemnation, and I guess the management company has been, he said, uh, the report said there was new ownership. Um, I don't know how you buy a company and not know what the condition of the assets are, but uh, the reality is the permitting process for a single-family home is relatively quick. I think 90 days is too much. It's been condemned for some time. The bidding process is an economic decision. Um, the reality is, is regardless of the cost, the owners have a responsibility to either rehab it or raise it. So um, I would I would ask that you deny more time. There's been plenty of time. Remanded back to the Department of Building and Housing, none of which keeps them from doing uh, what they're planning on doing. Uh, but I don't, I don't see, and, and you know, it was no surprise that winter was coming. So I would ask that you remand it back to the Department of Building and Housing, and the owners are, you know, they have to get it done. Okay. So my question is, and maybe I don't understand this process. To keep it from being condemned, we would need to have extra time to get the work done and the bidding and the. Um, Permitting process, am I correct in that, or am I misunderstanding the process here? Well, the process would be that you make application and pull the permits for a rehab plan. Most typically, uh, for a single family home, that takes about a uh, week to 10 days, and then they begin the work. Okay. So, Just a uh, clarification, uh, Mr. Vanover, is that she was thinking that it. Uh, it, it wasn't condemned and that, you know, what keeps it from being condemned? I think that she needs to understand that it's already condemned. Correct. It's already condemned. The question of whether or not is whether the owner rehabs it or raises it or whether the city raises it. Okay. So, so uh, I mean, we don't want, we don't want to spend the public money on tearing down your building. Right. Well, we'd prefer you not to as well. <laughs> so I guess my question is, it's going to take me time to get bids to uh, do that. So can we get in for the bidding and the permitting process? Does the permitting process take this out of condemnation? Um, no, no. no. <laughs> the, 
completion of the renovations and the final certificate of occupancy is what takes it out of condemnation. Okay, so we get the bids and we do the permitting, then do I come back in to ask for more time to get the uh, house completed? Or is there an extension at that point? That's where I'm, I'm, I'm thinking two or three weeks, I can't get the work done. I barely can get it bid. Mr. And the Chairman, new owners are Mr. trying Mr. to make this right. I'm sorry. They, Mr. Van Over, if they keep rolling on the, on the renovation, do, doesn't that, uh, don't you allow that with, with some conversation and assurances and action? Well, once the permits are pulled, then yes, we will continue to monitor as long as, long as the work continues. Um, I mean, this is, you know, this is really a 90 day rehab if they're serious about doing it. Um, so uh, Ms. Davis and uh, Mr. Uh, Rhodes, could you back up? When was, when was the condemnation issued? I look like it was issued on January 16, 2020. Oh, so again, so now we're, again, we're 10 months into, uh, you know, um, this condemnation. And uh, now we're before the board looking for, you know, there's been plenty of time to deal with this. So my concern is to request for more time to request more time. So I can promise, well, we will get bidding out or looking at the whole structure and get our permits, whether it's to rehab or if we have to raz it. I have, you know, I have not been in it. I've seen some of the pictures you've put out there. And quite frankly, from February, of August, you know, most of our contractors weren't even bidding. So we're hoping to make it through winter without more COVA back sets. So that's, you know, and to get a hold of, you know, you all, of, all of us have been affected. So we'd like a little more time to bring it forward to you for permitting. And I don't think two weeks, I'm not going to be able to get an, uh, a true bid that you know I feel like we will have time to review it. So that process I need two to three weeks just to get our bids done and then you know make sure the uh, permits done. How about uh, December 15th to, to, re to require the permit drawings to be presented by December 15th? Uh, Mr. Uh, any comments from the board members? Well, Mr. Chairman, we would need a, we would need a, a, a end date for the for the, for the nuisance abatement. That that was my comment as well, Mr. Chairman. What 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 was the comment? But I I think we need to if we're going to give time for permits, we need to get a give a time for completion as well. Probably 90 days from that point, Jill. So three Mr. Months. Bradley had his hand raised. Well, well, so the March permit, 1st. The for, permit will uh, give them a time to do the work. A, 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 a motion is in order, and you can check it. A motion is in order to require the permits to be presented to by December 17th, and the Completion of the project by March 1st, 2021. Is that so uh, moved? Do we agree? Who, uh, you, Mr. Second. Mr. Gallagher moved it. Mr. Yes, Maskey. Mr. Maskey seconded. Mr. Maskey seconded. Call the roll, please. Mr. Maskey. Yes. Mr. Bradley. Yes. Mr. Yank. Yes. Yes. Mr. Gallagher. Yes. Thank you all. Next Thank docket. You. Thank you. A3920, 13520 Ashburton Avenue. Application and fees are in order. Notice of violation is led. Issued on January 16, 2020. Appeal statement received February 18, 2020, requesting for time. Present for the hearing, Tom Vanover, Building and Housing. Patricia Ashton Law. The appellant has been properly notified and has failed to respond 
to the notice. Mr. Vanover, you have comments on that? Mr. Chairman, could you swear him in first and I'll do ah, that? Thank you. Solemnly swear or affirm the comments you're about to make are the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth. I do. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Chairman and Ms. Davis. Did the notice of today's public hearing get returned to this board for any reason whatsoever? No, it has not. Thank you, ma'am. And did you receive any phone call, voice message, or email regarding this? No, I have not. However, I do want to say for the record, um, the appellant did indicate that she was an 84-year-old lady. Yeah. That's exactly what I was going to say. Uh, that's exactly what I was going to say, uh, Carmela. She does say that she's 84 on limited resources. And if Mr. Chairman, it appears, and I defer to Mr. Vanover, but it does say that this is a two-dwelling unit, and it appears she lives there because the address she gives is in sequential order of 13522 and a location is 13520. Uh -huh. um, uh, I did, I believe I reached out. It is a lead issue, which is concerning regarding anybody, even elderly living there. Um, I do believe I sent this to um, um, Mr. to Senior Initiative to see about that when I noticed that I thought that she would live there and asked to have somebody reach out. I've not heard back or I'd have to double check um, with uh, Mr. Shockley regarding that matter. But that was exactly what I was going to say to Carmela. Thank you. Uh, so we so we uh, we just re re uh, remand remand it. <laughs> Remand it to the city. Uh, emotions are. You want, to hear, you want to hear from Mr. Vanover first, Mr. Uh, just to get. Yes. 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 Well, you, Mr. It, Mr. Chairman, it's a lead. I mean, it, it is a it is a two family. It appears that she lives in one of them, but the other one is a rental. This is part of our rental process, our rental program. It's a lead violation, which is dangerous. So we ask that you remand it back to the department. If the Department of Aging can help, they will. If not, we need to be able to protect the tenants. All right. Any comments from board members? A motion is ordered to remand the property to the Department of Building and Housing for supervision. Any required further action, denying their request for additional time. Motion so in order. Move. Second. Motion, Second. Mr. Bradley. Second. Second, Mr. Maskey. Call the roll, please. Mr. Maskey? Yes. Mr. Bradley? Yes. Mr. Dank? Yes. Mr. Gallagher? Yes. Thank you. Next item of business, approval of resolutions for, for the following dockets. Docket, the following A-20 dockets, 10, 11, 12, 13 and 19. Any additions or corrections? No. Motion for approval as submitted. We'll move. We'll move. Motion by Mr. Maskey, second by Mr. Bradley. Call the roll, please. Mr. Maskey? Yes. Mr. Bradley? Yes. Mr. Dank? Yes. Mr. Gallagher? Yes. Next item of business approval of minutes of October 28th, 2020. Any additions or corrections? No. Motion for approval as submitted. No move. No move. Mr. Bradley, second by Mr. Maskey. Mr. Mr. Maskey? Yes. Mr. Bradley? Yes. Mr. Dank? Yes. Mr. Gallagher? Yes. Any other business, official business? No. Meeting is adjourned. And my well, iPad's yeah. been threatening to go off the whole time. We had we had a rough start with the login issues, but I think it went pretty smoothly. <laughs> Mine halfway through notified me that it was going to go down, and I took all oh, the no. off, and it stayed. <laughs> okay. Thank you all. Have a good two weeks. Yeah. Everyone take care. Stay safe. Very good. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Thank you all. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.